Tungsten argon arc welding is welding using argon as a shielding gas. With the help of the arc generated between the tungsten electrode and the weld body, the welding material itself is heated and melted, it is also melted when the filler metal is added, and then the weld metal is formed. The tungsten electrodes, the molten pool, the arc and the joint area heated by the arc are protected by the argon gas flow and not polluted by the atmosphere. In argon arc welding, the relative positions of the welding torch, filler metal, and weldment are as follows, the arc length is generally 1 to 1. 5 times the diameter of the tungsten electrode. When stopping welding, first extract the filler metal from the molten pool, filler metal is added according to the thickness of the weldment, and the hot end still needs to stay under the protection of argon gas flow to prevent the oxidation. Welding torch, welding torch. In addition to clamping the tungsten electrode and delivering the welding current, the tungsten argon arc welding torch, also called torch, also sprays shielding gas. Long-term welding with high current welding torch also requires the use of water-cooled welding torch. Therefore, the correct use and protection of the welding gun is very important. Tungsten electrode load current capacity. Tungsten electrode diameter, um, pure tungsten thorium tungsten cerium tungsten 1.020 to 60, 15 to 80, 20 to 80, 1.640, 10070, 2.0 The color of the weld surface and the gas shielding effect of the weldment material should be good. Good, bad, the worst stainless steel silver white. Golden blue, red, gray, gray, black, titanium alloy, bright silver white, orange, yellow, blue, purple, blue, gray, white, titanium oxide powder. Cleaning tungsten arc welding before welding is very sensitive to the contamination of the welding and filler metal surface. So Processing lubricant and oxide film on the surface of the welding must be removed before welding. Safety technology The operator of argon tungsten arc welding must wear a head mask, gloves, dwarf clothes, and work shoes to avoid burns from ultraviolet and infrared rays in the arc light. Their tungsten argon arc welding machines are equipped with high frequency arc targets. Although low power, high frequency, and high voltage electricity will not shock the 
Roof forms 16 millimeters. V shaped slope when the wall thickness is greater than 16 millimeters. V shaped or V shaped roof should be used. When is more than 16 millimeters. For the roof form of V shaped or V shaped roof, the matching quality requires that the inner wall is flush. If there is an error, the error value should meet the following requirement. The local error value of but single-sided welding should not exceed 10% of the wall thickness and not more than 1 mm. For the counterpart, the oil, paint, scale, and oxide layer on the surface of the weld and the 15 mm side of the base metal should be cleaned until the metallic luster is exposed and the groove surface should be inspected. There should be no cracks, heavy skin, or hair defects such as brush and groove damage. If the design requires it, penetration testing should also be carried out on the groove surface. Before manual mark welding is used, two weld grooves should be covered with asbestos cloth within a range of 100 mm to prevent splashes from contaminating the material. The welding procedure specifications should be strictly implemented in accordance with the welding procedure card. It is advisable to adopt the welding method with small current, short arc, small swing and small input energy. It is strictly forbidden to start an arc on the surface of the welding part, test current or weld temporary support. That is an inspection of the root layer welded by argon pumps and arc welding. The secondary layer may be welded until it is completed after passing the self-inspection. In argon arc welding, the gas should be shut off after the arc is cut off to avoid oxidation of the weld. During the sub-layer welding of thin walled pipes during argon arc welding, the back should be filled with argon for protection and soluble paper should be used to seal the gas chamber. Pipes with a diameter greater than 194 mm should be welded symmetrically by two persons. In order to ensure the quality of the first argon arc welding used before welding, the pipe must be filled with argon protection to prevent alloy elements from burning and oxidizing. Filling a weld of large diameter austenitic stainless steel pipes. In order to prevent a large amount of argon from leaking from the gap of the 